Welcome back, everybody. Angie Workins here from the Beef Council, and we are doing some more fun, really, really easy, I promise you, recipes um, for summer. But these are, you know, really kind of fun, um, almost like you'd order them out of the restaurant and pay a lot of bucks they, for them. They you know? sound and look really fancy. Yeah, they do. I but like that. Nice. I like that. That's, yeah, only you need to know it wasn't exactly. all that hard to do. So sirloin, which I happen to love sirloin. I think sirloin is one of those steaks that gets a bad rap. Um, if you marinate it, it's it's really flavorful. It's mm -hmm. cheap. It's lean. It's so, very uh, versatile. I like it. Very yeah. versatile. So this, you you buy a whole sirloin. I did, and this is about a half a pound because okay. I've already sliced up. And you just kind of trim some of the trim. Fat. Yep, I trim as I go, and then for my kebabs, I do about a one inch chunk. Okay, so we're doing actually um, steak kebabs steak along kebabs. with fruit kebabs. Fruit so. kebabs. So I'm just going to chunk up this sirloin, okay. about a pound, into one inch cubes. Okay. So we can skewer them. Um, and then while I'm doing that, if you want to chunk up our fruit, yes. we're going to skewer that on separate skewers. Now that's real interesting to me because I always grill veggie kebabs, um, and I used to, you know, I, I make a lot of kebabs where I thread the, the veggies mm -hmm. on to the, you know, the right with, with your the meat. beef. I'll, however, I've started to not do that as much. I've started to actually do straight up veggie kebabs and straight up, you know, beef or chicken or whatever kebabs mm -hmm. because that way you can really control when you're taking them off. You know, the vegetables might not be done or the steak might be done. So exactly. But I've never grilled fruit kebabs, and I know all the chefs are grilling fruit this yes. summer. The top chefs are actually at the restaurants. They're serving grilled fruits with ice creams and custards yes. and you know creme brulee and all that kind of stuff. So. Uh, if you do one thing this summer, grill some fruit, but I've never done a fruit kebab. So we've got peaches, mangoes, um, plums, Plum. watermelon, watermelon, oranges. So you just want these nice and chunked up? Yeah, nice and chunked up. I didn't peel any of them. And but you just, could uh, if you want to. You could if, you'd want, if you want to, but they grill up really nice just with the peel. One thing that I found and I noticed right away with this peach, um, you don't want to get the real soft peaches. I mean, those are great for eating out of hand. But for grilling, you want a little bit firmer, mm -hmm. firmer fruit. Um, not rock hard, but they're going to hold up a little bit better for you on the grill. If you get the real soft ones, they're not going to grill as well. So keep that in mind when you're picking out the fruit. So um, mango, and you really leave the, the skin on the mango when you grill them? Yes. OK. So you can just peel it away, I guess, when you go to, yeah. to eat it. Mm -hmm. It And kind of peels off on, almost on its own once yeah. you get them mango, done. These mangoes are always a little bit of a challenge, too. <laughs> OK, where is the? Do they got that big pit in That's the side? That's why I usually buy the jarred mango. Yeah. The jarred mango won't work for this. Yeah. It's too soft. It'll yeah. fall right off your skewer. Yeah. So you need to buy a nice firm mango. And Sorry. the plums. I have not had a plum in forever, so I'm really excited about that. Are they found those right at the grocery store? Yes. Oh, yum. We're going to make a rub. Okay. It's, this recipe is called mir it's they call it a marinade in the recipe. Okay. But I don't know why. Okay. So don't be confused. It's a rub. Okay. And it has five ingredients. Okay. And it's going to be put on the fruit and on the beef okay. steak. So it's cilantro, about a quarter cup. Chop that up. Chop cilantro. Okay. Paprika, 1 tablespoon. A quarter, I used an eighth. An eighth of a teaspoon of crushed or ground cayenne red pepper, pepper cayenne. Okay. It calls for a quarter. I used okay. eight. Okay, so it if you like it little, spicy, it gets spicy. Okay. Some uh, orange zest. Okay. So zest that orange. About a tablespoon. So a lot of different flavors that mm -hmm. I wouldn't think you know to put together. The paprika and the red pepper and the cilantro. This is going to be a little unusual. And then our fifth ingredient is just orange juice. So, so it's a wet rub, kind of. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit wet it's, with the orange juice. A little bit yeah. wet with the orange juice. It just calls for a tablespoon or two, but. Um, oh, it's fresh. There's nothing that smells better this than This gives it a great, oh, with the orange zest. juice and the zest, mm. gives it a really, really nice mm. citrusy flavor. Spicy citrusy flavor. Perfect. Okay. Let's mix that up. We'll now, how much ahead of time do you need to do this? It's just for flavor, 15 minutes to two hours. Okay. So um, at home, you could um, take your sirloin, chunk it up, throw it in a Ziploc bag. Take your fruit, chunk all that up, put that in a second Ziploc bag, divide up the rub okay. into each, let it sit, put it in the refrigerator one to two hours. Okay. Let the flavors really stick to it and melt. I'll put half in my beef, and okay. you take half for the vegetables, or the, fruit. or the fruit, excuse yep. me. Yep. Now, do you need oil or anything else when no, you're? No, that is it. That's it. Need a spoon to toss that, that together. Mm -hmm. 
and then we skewer them. And that is it. So nice medium heat grill. So not too hot. So you don't sear them. Burn your fruit. And it didn't look like a lot of rub, but it's pretty concentrated, so you can kind of see it was it plenty is. for it, yeah. the fruit and the steak. So now we've got some skewers. And again, we're doing them on different skewers, the fruit and the steak. Because the fruit grills up pretty quickly, I find. I always leave a little bit of space, too, in yeah. my skewers. And they don't take as long. If you like your steak a real nice, rare, even a pink medium rare, you could shove it all together tight, and that'll keep them nice and pink there in the middle. That's a good tip. I like to skewer the fruit kind of alternately, so you've got, you know, mango and... and plums and peaches kind of all next to each other. Two skewers. But it looks real pretty. We're using the metal skewers, uh, wooden skewers. I like to soak those. In fact, just the other night, I didn't quite soak them long enough. enough. So <laughs> they take yes. a good old time. So that's why it's nice to invest in some metal skewers, which are cheap. I just picked some up the other day and they were really cheap. And I was like, oh, why didn't I do this sooner? Okay. These skewers I've had for 11 years. I got them for a wedding gift. Well, that was a good wedding gift. <laughs> they some were a those, great gift. Yep. Great investment by someone. I can't remember who, but they were, I love them dearly and use them a lot. All right. So I've got a couple on that I've put on ahead of time so we can plate them up to look at them. Okay. We're going to get those. Do you need to brush these with anything? Well, I'm just going to grab. No. Nope. nope. Just put them right on. They've got that great flavor on there, that cilantro. Oh, and you even grilled the watermelon. I didn't thread watermelon oh, on my skewer. Oh, we thread the watermelon. Yeah, we grilled watermelon on here. That was our fourth fruit. How fun. What a different so, way to do watermelon. We were just at the grocery store the other day, and Ireland milk. was begging to buy one of those big watermelons. I thought, what we're going to do with a whole watermelon? Well, there we go. Something else that you can do with it. So yeah, we'll cover them on gas grill about 15 minutes. Keep an eye on them, rotate them. And, and again, doesn't get any more healthy than that. Serve it over a bed no. of rice um, and that looks absolutely fantastic. Do Side a nice salad. salad. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. Okay, so we are doing, is this recipe in this yes. brochure? Okay, brand new brochure out is called Where There's a Grill, There's a Way. And there are a, a good half a dozen or more recipes in here. Tips, uh, all about marinades, tender, tenderizing steaks. Uh, temperatures, when it comes, there's a whole nice chart here on um, grilling temperatures and how long you should grill them. So this is a great summer, uh, one of those go-to guides. And I keep I keep these guides, you know, especially when it comes to temperatures, mm -hmm. right in a drawer in the mm -hmm. kitchen um, because it's just good to know on hand, you mm -hmm. know, what you're looking for when you're looking for medium rare steak or medium and, and that type of thing. And all of our recipes have pictures with them, which I like a I lot, like a lot too. of people do. Because yep, exactly. then you can see it. Yep, this exactly. is what it's supposed to look like. So um, you can get this by quickly, the number to call. 1-800-728-BEEF, 2333. All right, we'll be back.